Okay, just a little short, quick video of my front suspension, a uh, self-adjusting track suspension that I built today. I tell you guys, the problem now is just getting lazy. I could finish this thing up. I just get up here and back my ears and you know get it done. What happens is you know these will mount, these will mount long ways, you know, along on each side of the dozer. Go up and connect to the frame, drop down, come down exactly to the uh, center width, center center of the axle of the rear end. Be the same in the front. Here's what your front wheel will mount to. What this does, this will tuck this telescopes in and out. Be a spring here, be a spring in between here with tension on it to push the track, to push this outward, keep the track tight. You know, you may have one track longer than the other one, one track shorter than the other one. Could have a wheel a little bit, a bit out of round. You know, when it comes around to the, if it is out of round, if it comes around to the part that's out of round, it would tighten up and bind the track down. Kind of like a mini bike chain. That's why you need an idler on a mini bike, a spring operated mini bike idler on the chain. Keep it from, you know, if it needs to give and, you know, come back and forth. Be the same thing here. Be a real strong spring. I'm going to drill a hole here, here, and further back. Put grease fittings. Keep them greased. Um, in other words, these tracks will be, once I get, get the tracks on it and in place, and loosen the spring or tighten the spring, whichever way I make it, I hadn't decided yet. Uh, that will put tension on the tracks and keep them tight. Even if they loosen up and you know if they get wear, you know the the spring, the the hinges wear, you know the tracks lengthen, the spring will push it out. You know keep it pushed out and keep it tight. I just made these two today, just monkeying around, just messing around. Really, like I say, I've got into a lazy spell here that I'm gonna have to get out of. Get this thing finished, man. It's never took me this long to build anything. Well, either way, there's a little bit of a close-up where you can see the, see how that's made. All I did was just make a plate. These are um, these are spindles, hub spindles off of a um, same thing I use on boat trailers, car trailers. Um, those are packable. You can take that cap off right there, take them out, and grease the bearings. If they feel good. I'm gonna grease them just for the heck of it. This here's a little bit tight, but it's not loose, and you can't feel any roughness in the bearings, so. It's got it a little bit tight. Is what they've done. Um, I'll replace. I'll replace uh, the seals and put new grease in it and get that going. There's your track semi-mounted on there. That, that front wheel. That's one I cut too small. I wasted that metal there, so I won't be able to use it. But I'll give you an idea of what it might look like. You know, when I get the tracks mounted and all put on it. Uh, right here's another hurdle that once I get over, it's going to um, things will go a lot quicker. In and out, all the way back in, in and out. Do a lot, go a lot easier too once it gets greased and gets pressure on it to where it'll um, you know hold it straight and in place. Well, alrighty, getting there. Just thought I'd make you a, kind of a blow by blow, step by step video of each piece, you know, each major piece anyway. Uh, there is the. See how the tracks are humping there at the top? I'm going to put two two roller wheels at the top, three at the bottom, and once you get the spring tension on it, see the tracks will stay straight anyway. All right, guys. Hope you can see what I've done here, what I'm doing. I tell you what, them two pieces right there are heavy. They are going to add some weight. I'm telling you, each piece I add to this thing, it gets heavier and heavier. It's going to be heavy by the time I get done with it. Real heavy. I'd hate to think I had to pick one of them up and carry it the length of a football field. You'd be get out by the time you got there. All right, guys, have a good one. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'll make you another little video here and go a little further. Adios.